Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and this is to just talk about something that I've seen a lot. Uh, many people are asking me, when is 23H1 arriving for Windows 11? I just want to remind everybody that 23H1 is not a thing. It will not happen, um, and that we are always going to have the version number um, for the second half of the year. That's when the build number is going to arrive. So some of you might still be on 21H2, but for the most part, a lot of you on Windows 11 have moved to 22H2. And so this is the version that was, of course, um, released late last year. And if you think about it, uh, you'll notice that there's no 20, uh, 22H1. That was not a thing because we had 21H2 the year before. So there was no 22H1, there won't be 23H1, and there won't be a 24H1. It's always on the second half of the year now that the updates are happening. So 23H2 will be happening later this year. And um, basically, they call it a major update every year, but that's not exactly the case now in Windows 11. What we're having is several updates through all of the moments throughout the year, and even in between moments, we get features. So it's like a continuous update of features throughout the year, which is not really a big version every year now. But they will bump up the version number at the end of this year to 23H2. So what's going to happen is moment 4, which is the next feature update, will have um, the um, moment 4 will have the bump up to 23H2. So don't wait or look for a 23H1, it won't happen. Like there won't be a 24H1. And for the uh, lot of people that are actually telling me, well, you know, when is it gonna be a, a version? When is there gonna be a version for, um, you know, when, when, when is 23H1 for Windows 10 or something? I just wanna remind everybody that 22H2 has been stated, Microsoft does say it, is the last version of Windows 10. So we're gonna stay on 22, 2H2 for Windows 10 until the end. 22H2 is really the last version. Um, so what you'll get is, you know, security updates every month and some bug fixing updates at the end of the month. Um, somebody was telling me, well, you know, they added a couple of little changes and features and um, were asking about it. Keep in mind that um, there's, you know, not going to be a lot of changes on Windows 10, but it's not impossible that there's a small change here and there. Uh, where the changes might actually happen more is in the uh, Microsoft Store. If you have apps that you use, you might notice that some of the apps are actually going to be uh, changed over time and some will have updates, uh, which is different from what the operating system. But don't expect to have features that you see in Windows 11 really. Um, you know, we're in the support mode. And it's quiet time now for Windows 10 until October 2025. So no 23H1, no 24H1. It's all in the second half for Windows 11. So 23H2 is going to be the next version after 22H2. And then after 23H2 next year is going to be 24H2. And that's the way it's going to work. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.